Welcome back, everybody. Uh, soybean harvest still going on 2023 here in Ohio. And today I had the opportunity to film an International Harvester 1460 alongside a later model Case IH 1640 combine. I was real excited and happy to get to see both of these in action, the older version with the newer one, and get some video footage of, of both of them together. Uh, before we go see and hear these in action, I wanted to tell a little bit about each combine that you're going to see here today and a little bit of history of the axle flow combine itself. Um, International Harvester unveiled the axle flow combine in the fall of 1977. Uh, research and development had begun of the rotary combine in the late 1950s. It took approximately 20 years and an estimated over 1 million man hours of engineering work that went into the axle flow combine. Uh, this combine was a huge success for International Harvester, and it's also been a great success for Case IH as well, as it's still being used today. So the IH Axle Flow Combine was debuted in 1977, and it ran through 1986. After the Case IH to, uh, takeover, they changed it from the 1400 series, and it was changed to the 1600 series. Uh, one noticeable thing you'll see here from the 1460 compared to the 1640 was in 1986 when they had changed the air intake from the right-hand side of the combine and they mounted it to the rear. Uh, one of the other changes that was made on the 1600 series combines is that in 1989 uh, they had switched engines and went from the IH engines and they would went to Cummins engines. Uh, what we're seeing here today is a 1979 model. Um, 1460 IH built. Uh, this has 180 bushel grain bin capacity with the grain extensions. It's got a six cylinder DT436 turbocharged 436 cubic inch diesel engine rated at around 170 horsepower. The 1640 that you see here is a Case IH 1988. It's got an International Harvester D466 six cylinder. 466 cubic inch naturally aspirated diesel engine putting out 150 horsepower. Uh, grain bin capacity on the 1640 is roughly 145 bushel. Both of the combines in this video, the 1460 and the 1640, are both four wheel drive. They have the rear wheel assist, and this came in as an advantage and a great option today. As you'll see, some of the field conditions were a little wet but it's just been the weather around here in Ohio and having that four wheel drive really helped out. Now that I've talked about a little bit of the history of the axle flow combine, we'll go ahead and see and listen and hear these in action.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like seeing tractors of all brands in action like this, go ahead and subscribe and check back. I still plan on doing more of these tractor videos for you. As always, thanks for watching.